Okay, so this is going to be a series where we walk through how to use different types of wallets with ThorSwap. So you can swap and liquidity pool all the various assets that are available on ThorChain. So to see what wallets are compatible, you can just go to connect and see. And in this first video, we're going to be walking through XDeFi, which is a multi-chain wallet. So you'll have all these various chains available in one single browser extension wallet. Now, if it detects that you don't already have it installed, there should be a link right here to install it, or you can find it at xdefi.io, or it's always a good practice in crypto to go to an official Twitter account to make sure that you're working with the right link and not anything suspicious. So we're, of course, just going to download this and install it. And I'm on Brave here, but this is the same as for Chrome. You're just gonna add it to your browser so you'll see this octopus icon in your browser and I'm just going to pin it so it stays there. And then this is your XDeFi wallet. So to onboard for the first time, you're just going to follow let's get started. And of course, terms and conditions. And here we're going to create a fresh brand new XDeFi multi-chain wallet. So we need to create a password. So I'm going to do that. Okay, now what I'm showing you here is an example and you would never do what I'm about to do, which is show someone your seed phrase. So your seed phrase is your ultimate absolute keys to your crypto. So these 12 words you have to keep as safely as humanly possible. And what's recommended typically is to store them offline, um, not even a screenshot or in a some kind of cloud um, storage. You really want to have this offline and as inaccessible as possible, but at the same time, you need access to it because this is your only way to restore your wallet. If you need to load this into a different wallet at some point or you uh, get disconnected uh, from your browser extension, this is the only way that you'll get back into your funds. So you need this, but never share it with anyone. If any sort of chat support is ever asking for your seed phrase, it is 100% a scam. You will never have to provide your seed phrase to anyone for any reason, and you are giving over the true keys to your crypto if you give over your seed phrase. So I'm not going to be using this wallet. This is just for the sake of the example, so I'm showing you, but keep these as safe as possible and click next. Now I just have to enter the words to verify. And I need a name for this wallet. Now this option will make XDeFi the priority. If you have other browser extension wallets like MetaMask or TerraStation installed, this will have XDeFi pop up first. Now here are all the chains that XDeFi supports. For the sake of the example, I'm going to turn off any that are not currently on ThorChain, and I'm going to turn on everything that is currently on ThorChain. I'll leave Terra, which is in the process of coming on as, as of the time that I record this. Complete. And now it says you're done. So now if you look at your browser extension, you'll see that you have wallets for all these various chains. And to send any crypto into this wallet, let's say you wanted to send in some BNB or some uh, Binance Rune, you can just copy your address from here. Uh, one little tip there is this is the Binance chain, not the Binance smart chain. Just be careful with that. These start with BNB, the other ones start with 0x for your addresses. Uh, but for the most part, if you want to send in any of these, you're just going to you know, copy your Ethereum address, uh, receive, send, uh, that is pretty straightforward. So now let's head back over to ThorSwap and now we're going to connect our XDeFi wallet that we just created and we can leave all the chains selected. Uh, Doge is not currently supported by XDeFi, so you can leave it checked or not, but it's not going to show up, as you'll see in just a second. And now here in the wallet, you will see all the chain addresses that you currently have connected. So these are quite straightforward, but just a couple of tips. So this is your native ThorChain address. So this is for native Rune. I'll come back to that in just a second. Here's where you would send your any native Bitcoin. You'd send it to your Bitcoin address. Ethereum, you would send here as well as any other ERC-20 Ethereum-based tokens. For example, we can see there are other ERC-20 assets such as ThorSwap token or ERC-20 USDC or USDT. 
So those would all go to your Ethereum address. Binance Chain, this is for BNB or any BEP2 Binance Chain asset where you'll see BEP2. Again, just a reminder, this is not Binance Smart Chain. So Binance Rune, you would send to this BNB address, not the native ThorChain address. And there's also Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash addresses. So that's all pretty straightforward. And once you have some crypto sent into these addresses and you have this connected, then you'll be able to do all the other functions on ThorSwap, such as swapping from any supported asset to any supported asset. And you'll just verify the transaction, which will pop up in your XDeFi wallet once connected.